Great lighting. I got natural light. Before I start this video just yet, I wanted to announce, guys, since we hit 100K, I put a promo code out for 10% off, 10% off anything on the whole entire site for PC merch. Check it out, top link in the description. The promo code is CUFF10. CUFF10, 10% off anything you want. If you're gonna get anything, get it now while it's cheaper. There's a ton of stuff on the site, as well as something like the Fish logo shirt. There's also the PC hoodies, gray, black. There's all sorts of stuff, check it out. Alrighty, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another video here. We have officially reached the 100K mark. If you guys haven't watched the 100K video, there's the card right there. I highly suggest you check it out. It recaps the whole entire channel. It is insane. Then you can come back and watch the rest of this one because this one's going to be dope as well. Here's the big pond. I took... Now, of course, it is definitely clearing up with that filter way more. It's just taking a little bit longer than I thought. The plants are still in this one. What I did was Luke got the UV filter pumping a lot stronger, and then I cleaned out this whole entire filter that's back there. So now I'm letting this one, this is of course not as dirty as that one, but I took the plants out because it was starting to get as green as that one is. Now I'm going to see since I take the plants out, this isn't a harm of the fish at all whatsoever. So the fish are fine. As you can see, they still eat consistently. Now I took the plants out to see if it clears the water faster without plants, and if plants are the thing that's causing the water to kind of get green. I called Koi Smart and they said, that it's fish uh, waste. It's waste that getting from the heat and uh, nothing's filtrating the waste. So I'm sure this filter being on the bottom of the pond and the skimmer being on the top to take debris out will clear this pond out and then I can put the plants back in. But in the meantime, check it out. I went all the way around this with rocks now. Look at that now. I went all the way around it with rocks. Like I said, I was gonna fill in all the little pieces of the tarp that came out, filled in all those. Here's what today's video is on. This is emptied out. I'm remodeling this. I'm going to go buy a filter because you saw what happened to the last one. I'm going to fill this up with water, put the decorations in, have this all set and ready, get bricks to go right here, make this all set and ready for baits to go in so that Thump, who is chilling right there, as you can see, he wants food right now, could start coming up and blowing up on live baits. It's going to be sick. Here's where the plants are in the meantime. PC merch. <laughs> That's where they'll be. They're going to be fine in there and we'll see if this clears up the water. As you can see, I covered up the pipe like I said I was gonna do. Covered up that pipe, so now that is covered. All you see is the pipe coming out. Now that right there is gonna look a hell of a lot better. In just about, yeah. probably I'd say roughly two hours. It'll all happen in this video though. My family is on the way from New York, so uh, I gotta get this done so it doesn't look like a plastic bin is sticking out of the ground. Let's get it. The real Caferos know that I always forget this thing. We're here at Walmart and I'm not forgetting it this time. We're heading into Walmart right now. We are here to pick up a new filter. If you're new here, I'm Paul Cafero. You guys are the Caferos. He was just looking at me while I'm looking at the camera right here. Anyway, let's head into Walmart right now and pick up the supplies. All right, so you guys know what happened last time I bought one of these. It didn't go well. It literally is the only thing they have. Eh, I mean. I'm gonna go with this guy right here. Remember, this is just for bait, really just for bait that are in there temporarily for like probably two days. Now that I've got this, I just noticed I need um, an extension cord with multiple plugins. I don't know what I forgot what that's called, but I need one of those because I'm gonna need to plug more things in like this and the little heater to heat that little uh, bait tank that I'm making right now. Let's head on over to the extension cords. All right, bunch of extension cords, but we are looking for like a multiple outdoors plugin. All right, let's see this one, it's only two feet long. It's got three more plugs. This is exactly what I think I'm gonna go with. The only bad thing is these two outlets on the side of my house will be running a lot of electricity, so I'm gonna run this to the backyard. So you'll see when we get to the house why that makes sense. Bang. And just like that, we are at Home Depot. Look at this, I've already got a cart with bricks in it. This is not the brick I need, so uh, this is no one's cart, as you can see, no one's around me. So I'm gonna take this guy, flip it on over to here. Where are the bricks? Where are the bricks? Where are the bricks? Oh, here they are. I found her right yonder. Perfect. I'm gonna build my mini pond out of these right here on the concrete so I know how many I need. All right, that is 30 bricks right there. That should perfectly fit around the mini pond. Whether I have to space them out a little bit, I'll just space them out on the back side. We're all set, that's probably actually too many, but you never can have enough. Let's head to the counter, pay for this, and get back home and finish up this little live well. 30. Perfect, appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Have a you too. 13 bucks for all these. 30 of them for 13 bucks. I don't even know if I got 30, I probably got like 25. I paid for 30 though. So uh, here's 30 bricks. 
heading back to the truck right now. I bet the audio is amazing with this. Uh, this is the worst part about the whole entire thing, getting it to the backyard, getting all this to the backyard. Horrible. You gotta do what you gotta do. This should be fun and heavy. Alrighty, we're out here at the pond with all the bricks. This is pretty much how it's gonna go. What is that? Another one. Pretty much going around this whole entire thing with these bricks. And then we'll go one more layer over this, so like that. So you can see how it, it'll be obviously. There's another add on. Break them like that so they can fit in. Now that it's broken, it'll fit. Make that tidier than it was already, at least. Just like that. We've got our little plants right here. I'll put these in. I'm going to get the filter, put some water, and then we'll be ready for a video that will be coming up here shortly is when we get baits for this well and feed the largemouth. He's still sitting right there waiting for food. This thing came out sick. Now, if you walk back a little bit compared to how it looked before, how was just that plastic coming out? Now you can see just like that. I might even add another layer of bricks later on on the top of that one just so you can't see the plastic at all. All right, so I just worked on this to try to get every single stone perfectly level with the other one and it, it came out perfect. I went up another level so that uh, you can't see that plastic whatsoever. When you walk up, that'll be full with water. I'll have the filter in there in just a second. I also added this little stone right here so that I could put this food right here onto that. Looks real neat. Walk up, I made it a little lower right here so it's like a little opening. And uh, now I'm gonna add this filter, the extension cord with a heater that is inside that white bucket. And look how it looks from a far distance. It literally looks like it's meant to be right there. Like, check out that full view of the big pond. Whew, looks nasty. Before I get the filter in there just yet, I gotta fill this bucket up with some water by the side of the house because I don't want to unravel the whole hose. Just pour it into there until that is completely filled up. Just like that, the water is filled to the brim. Now I'm gonna answer a few questions before I get the comments. What do you do when it rains? Now, this right here will not get full sunlight, nor will it fill up when it rains, because that right there. That is covering that from getting any sunlight or water into there, so that should be perfectly fine. Now to where I'm gonna plug in the extension cords, a different story, it's right there, and I actually made a hole a while back when I had my old old pond right here in the corner of this, so I'm gonna run it through there, plug it in, and have the heater, which is, one sec, let me grab it out of the supply box here. Right here, this heater and the filter will both be running off the triple plug that's gonna go in right there. Everything else has ran off that one right there, which goes to the side of the house that has two plugs, plugging in both that to run this and the mini pond. Alrighty, come here bag. We got our extension cord. Right now I'm gonna open this up. You can see how short it is. That's all I needed right there. It's really heavy, heavy duty. You can see how thick that is. We're gonna plug it in right there and put it to right here. That right there. We got our filter here, five to 10 gallons right here. We're gonna open it up. It's bigger than I thought. Untwist this. Like I said, save these little cords right here. They'll come in handy in just a second. Oh, now that you've got that, run your wire between these rocks right here. And you'll see right here, I'm gonna wire all this back together. I can reach the plug from right there. This is what I said, it's gonna come in handy. This thing right here, do exactly how it was packaged. Just close all these back up and it'll keep the wires real neat back there. So they won't ever get messy if you just leave it just like that. Right there, now you put those down. You can even see that on the rocks. You can see, reaches that. So that's set, now I got the heater. So when winter time comes, the baits could also stay warm. <laughs> Run that back here as well. Run it in the same exact spot as that. Push it onto the side, like a magnet. Stick it like that, boom. Now all the wires are hidden. So I'm gonna put the two plants right here back to back and bolt the bricks under the fountain just like that. Like I said, it is only a bait pond. There's just gonna be baits in here for that little amount of time. Let me get the dechlorinator for 20 gallons cap. So this will be fine with one cap full, just like that. We're set, the water is dechlorinated and ready for bait fish. There's the final live well right there. Came out insane. 
It would even look cooler if I had like concrete to mold all these together. But uh, maybe that could be in the long run. We're gonna get bait for this in one of these upcoming videos. I'm sure you guys, the Caferos, will love this live hole just as much as I do, especially once we get baits and we start feeding the largemouth bass. We're gonna go plug both the heater and the filter in, and hopefully it'll work. The water is flowing. The heater is on. You can see the little orange dot. It's running. Bubbles are coming off of it. So sick, guys. We're ready for fish. Pretty much anything we want we could put in here. I'm just going to put bait fish because that's my mini live well. There's the food to feed the fish when they're in the live well. I think it just looks so good from a far distance. It's way better than a plastic bin sticking out of the ground. Now my family could see it in a better way than it was before that. I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. I hope you guys can actually do this for yourself. When you make a little live well next to your pond, check out the merch, top link in the description. If you haven't done so already, follow me on all my social medias at the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. We have officially passed 100K. It's insane. Hope you guys watched the 100K video. Like I said, a reminder, if you haven't watched the 100K video, it is in the description as well as the card is right here. Check it out. I highly suggest it. I love you all. And until next time, see you later, Caferos. Peace.